Kia ora everybody and welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered. I'm Skating Hobo, you can call me Bailey if you want. And um, I realized I made a mistake last time. I jumped off the little wooden platform without kicking the bridge down. So, we gotta go fix that. That's two mistakes now because I didn't, I didn't use the fire keepers. No, I didn't use the fire keepers so didn't kick down the bridge. Later. We're doing well, we're doing well, you know. Um, how's everyone doing today? Not too short one with this, lovely. You come on, come on, buddy. I thought that would be a backstab. Praise the sun. Yeah, brother. Just gonna avoid all their big ugly swings. Nice block. I love the Uchi Katana engine. The Uchi Gucci. It's got the reach. It's got the swing. It just feels nice. And with the bleed in this, oh, I'm not gonna lie, I was real disappointed playing Dark Souls 2. And I finally, I found the Uchi Gucci. I think it was uh, McDuff sells it. And I bought it, and I was like, yo. And if you guys have played um, Skull of the First Sin, you probably already know that durability matters. And God, that thing has like, I think it's like 40 durability, which isn't low, it's just not very high, and yeah, most of the time I'd find myself repair powdering or changing out to like the fire long sword just for like the last few hundred meter sprint to the next bonfire or something, because like in that game it was good, like you could just rest at a bonfire and your um, equip got repaired, but Everything breaks so easy, which is kind of why they had to do that, I guess. Because, like, you didn't need to repair it at the blacksmith unless it broke. And the only thing that really broke for me was, like, if I went in acid armor or. Oh, God. Oof. Yeah, but, okay, we'll take out you first. Homie here's, like, playing on defense mode. Come on. Yeah, thank you. Good one. Ah. That was not smart. Why did I do that? Okay, we'll have a little sip. I can kindle my bonfire. I'll do that when I kick the ladder down. I don't know. I'm playing like absolute dog. But that's okay. A little out of touch. Never hurt nobody. Might die a little bit extra. That's, that's part of the fun. Um, the only problem with doing this is... The Drake can get real mad if he's not already still there. I think he's usually still there, he just doesn't load in. It's the same with like Psyllith, like, even though he's there, it doesn't load him in. Like, it sounds like the dragon's there. Yeah, there he is. That's weird. Like, if I stand here, he's not, you know, he is visible, I mean. Come out to the bridge, <laughs> he's not. Man, this, this wall has got some power behind it, huh? There he is. No Salir. Wow. Alright, well, I'm pretty sure if I like step too far forward he's gonna attack. Maybe not. Okay, well if, if you'll let me get to the stairs, then attack. Nothing. Okay. I'll take it. Just wanna kick the ladder down. Okay, that's that error fixed. Let me just chuck these souls into levels in case I die again. I don't want to go past 20, because I kind of want to do a little bit of co-op at Gargoyles to reduce the entry for the Sunbro's Covenant. Um, so I'll just put the one in Endurance, and I'll probably put another couple in Vitality. Yeah, we'll see. Depends how many souls I get between here and there. I'm gonna try and not, you know, farm too much, or I won't use any um, soul items or anything like that, so I don't have to level up and worry about wasting them. It's another thing about two that I kind of like is the ring of soul protection. Being able to like use it, and it just breaks instead of these ones, which like break, break. 
you use that and it's just gone forever. You get to go to the blacksmith and repair it. Um, I need a bow. Can I equip the composite? Yeah, that's why we get this. I need arrows. I'll just go feather. Okay. Let's see if I can. Oh, is he coming? Okay, we don't need the bow. We just need to run. I was gonna shoot him to try to bring him down because usually he will sit up there and just breathe fire at you. But I guess wait long enough, he'll fuck off. Pretty sure he'll just leave now. Like, he doesn't like when you light this and hang out here. He just goes. Bye. Hey, Baymore. Mm, delicious. But yeah, so I'm pretty sure the base requirement to enter the Sun Bros Covenant is 25 faith. Um, we have eight, so that's not ideal. I might put two levels into that to make a ten and then try to do three PvP helps. But, you know, just gotta get there. Hey, buddy, buddy. Come on. Nice swing, buddy. Okay, three hits on remember how to do this. I don't even know if this thing has the range. Maybe just I'll just attract the pig. How do I get out? Here he comes. Big swing. Animus. So yeah, another reason I like the Chikatana. You get the bleed on. So I just bait him down here. His like AI tells him to keep walking back when he gets past that gate area. Look out for kicks, because he will just kick backwards sometimes. And sometimes he might run all the way to like the bonfire, but it's like AI tells him to turn around. Try kind of thrash about it, yeah. I think he doesn't like going past there. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, but then he'll try to turn around again. I thought you could backstab this guy, like stab him straight in the asshole, but. Oh, there's a kick. He pauses before he kicks. It's pretty easy to see coming. Not too hard to worry about. And that is the armored boar. He won't respawn. Now, I usually try to shoot this guy. But, see if the composite bow has the accuracy in it. Oh, God. Oh, we got him. Yo. Nice. He will run through the gate and pull the lever. And you'll have to go like under and through some like shambly prison hollows. If you do it this way, he just doesn't pull the gate lever and you don't have to worry about him. And you just run on through. Or is it him? Oh, it's him. I got the wrong guy. All right, the race is on. Fuck you, buddy. Yeah, come on, I know your game. Pull that lever. <laughs> He'll still pull it even if you get through, he doesn't care. So just, I don't know, lead him, and you can just fight him. Kill. Basement key, completely useless because I have the master key. Oh wait, no, basement key is useful. It's the mystery key in that, like, basement area that's master, uh, useless. Ugh, I get so backwards sometimes. Uh, let's bait out one of these guys to maybe get a swag sword. Because, you know, everyone loves a swag sword, so... Whenever I get the opportunity, I just, I kill these guys. Oh, not a one hit. Maybe I'll just go upgrade my uh, katana a little. Some of these shards that I've got. Now oh, I've got three now. Uh, where are they even kept? No, it's here. Yeah, i got three and two large. Andre sells a couple. I think I could probably bait out him. Yo. Come here. Oh, not quite. The way it angles is crazy. Not quite, bud. Oh, he fell. Can I do anything with that? No, it's Dark Souls 1. Do you have any goodies? Nah. Um, 
I don't like fighting the big guy in there, I like fighting right at the front. But obviously you gotta look out for this fella. But he's no biggie. Just like the rest of them. Pretty easy kill. He's just like I don't know, I feel like you almost always have to kick him or wait for him to swing one or the other. He's just annoying Mr. Shield Spear. We'll head across this bridge, which I, I always thought was a trap when I started. Like, I, I always thought it would give out or it would fucking break. Because I knew you could go that way and fight that big guy. So I was like, ah, this looks like it will just not let you go this way. Okay, yeah. I just don't want him to heal. Thanks. Yeah, for Mr. Crossbow. Three. And then. I keep thinking they drop items, so I go back and check them. Hey bud. Bye bud. Good PvP area if you wanna scrap and you don't know that. I feel like you should know that though. Like, if this is your like first introduction to Dark Souls. I appreciate it, I do. Thanks for choosing this one. But, kinda weird. I don't know, I feel like you should play these kind of games blind first. Like in my opinion, the best way to play them is just get the game, install it, play it. If you get stuck somewhere, try to find like a spoiler-free guide, because you don't want to ruin anything for yourself. Um, but otherwise, yeah, just just play it. It's, they're fun. And the Kindle this flame, because we come here a lot for sins for the for parish. You know, it's, it's a pretty common bonfire, and we can warp to it. One of the few that you actually can warp to. All right, let's go talk to her Dad. He's not actually the dad, but I mean, look at him, he's, he's daddy. Well, he's almost someone that I would like let speak, but you know, I'm not trying to waste my own time or your time. Let us uh, reinforce this Uchi Katana. Oh, yeah, it's only one the whole way up. Oh, no, it goes to two. Yeah, okay. So, let me purchase tidy white shards because you yeah, Get the repair box, the armor's worth it for 6k. I'll do that after gargoyles, pretty much. Three. Is it? I forget how much upgrades cost. They're 200, so I might have enough. Nice. Don't get yourself killed. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. Thanks, bro. Love you. Alright, let's talk to our onion friend, because I like him, and I want to progress his story so that we can get a spare slab, because, like, I don't know if I'm going to do this to New Game Plus, or just to Gwyn, like, I'll beat Gwyn multiple times, or if I'll just beat Gwyn the once, so it'll kind of just be, I, know, I guess, based on you guys, if, if people join in and like the series and they really want to see me keep going up to the hardest difficulty, or... They want to see me platinum it, even though I've got the platinum, I could, you know, collect all the spells and collect all the weapons again just for fun. Um, happy to do it. It's just kind of what the people want. For now, I'm a dude with, I think, 36 subscribers. Um, so, I'm just having fun and trying to find my little niche, I guess. If that's you, welcome. I appreciate you. So now we're going to go up to the gargoyle area. Um, actually, nah, let's use my brain and use these firekeeper uh, souls. So I'll clear these three, I'll drag the big boy out, kill him, get the firekeeper soul, and then boost my Estus flask. Oh, you missed, awkward. Okay, they're two shots now, that's nice. Oh, you missed, awkward. Bro, you suck. I'm sorry, I don't mean to bully people, but like... That was not a good performance on your part. Um, I wish there was a Gavlan in this game. Like, someone to trade to, because Framp gives you, like, literally bubkiss for items. Oh, come on, bro. You know you can run faster than that. Yeah, thank you. I don't know how you teleported down to the floor. Kind of buggy on your part. Usually I'll just use like fire bombs. I mean, I could whittle them down with my sword. It's already plus four, so we can do it pretty quick. Yeah. 
but being a pyromancer, so I gotta remember that I am, so I can actually just like obliterate things with my hand. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot this guy up. Ooh, that hurts. bow has not great accuracy or I'm not accurate with it. I'm not used to shooting slightly to the, the right of them or the left of them I guess. That should be enough. Oof, thanks bud. I forgot how to get out of the bow and I just stuck. Um, do I want to go see if there's a Chandler's Trident? Nah, we'll come back and check that. I don't even know if it despawns. If it does, who cares. Uh, Chandler's Trident, if you don't know, one of the rarest drops. Super annoying. And I think you need it for the Platinum, I can't remember. I know I got it super lucky, like I just got one. I think it was off that guy, or it was off the first dude I killed in the Duke's archives. But either way, I got one without even thinking about it. Can't remember if I said it in the last part or not, but my hardest part of getting the Platinum was cutting off the tails, because I forgot to do it early game, and I had to do it in New Game Plus Plus, and yeah, it was fucking dumb. But I did it, it was worth it, it was fun, it was good. What's up, buddy? I don't even want to touch this bonfire. Ah, oh, I guess I do, because I'll probably wrap up the part here, make a quick little montage thing, I guess, of me doing the PvP assistance, because sometimes that can take ages. You can just be sitting around waiting, so I'll probably, um, I don't know, queue up in, in all regards to that, and then try to oh, let me level up my faith by two to get just oh, I can only do one anyway. Cool. Yeah. Cause the queue time's long unless you get lucky. Which I mean usually I'm sitting around for like 20, 30 minutes before someone picks me up. But that's okay. No biggie. Got the the big sword, look cool. Hopefully someone will be like, yeah, this is the guy I want to help me kill the gargoyles. Ding! We're here. Right, so we got this fella, he like can't attack down the stairs, so he's kind of easy, but I understand if he kills you because they're strong. Rapier. That sucks. Where's your swag sword, bro? And then we got the horde. The <laughs> the main reason everyone doesn't like Dark Souls 2 is, is, is this is pretty much around most of the game. People have a real problem with like um, Iron Keep or What's that place called? The water? It's like Aldia's Shrine or something. Okay, we're getting a bit lower than I'd like. Good swing, boys. Oh, jumping Johnny. Oh, we've targeted the boulder knight. Cool. So we'll collect all the stuff up here, which is, I think, big soul of a soldier. There's another... Boulder Knight up here, we'll fight him. It's pretty easy, like I think you can just parry them. Nope, it's not like that. Oh, well now he's trying to parry me, hold on. When things try to parry me, just throw an item at them. Oh, and then they'll try and heal, and they'll get it off, and then you'll stab them in the dick. <laughs> try heal again, that's... Good, good AI. Try heal twice. Like, come on. Free this man, get yourself a humanity, I think, and then go free um, Golden Dickhead. He's like, oh, you're a human, please free me, I'll give you a reward. The reward is a, um, what is it, a sunlight medal, but, you know, they're useful. 
if you want to get a great spear, great lightning spear. I can't remember. You need 10 to get to rank 2 in the Sunlight Bros Covenant. Um, the easiest way to get 10 is to summon Sunlight Homies and do co-op, or to farm Sunlight Maggots and Lost Isolith. Alright, so I'll probably wrap it up here. Um, who's this? <laughs> Someone who's going to do what I'm going to do, except they've got like a giant sword and a little spell casty thing. Like, wow, they'd probably be way more useful than me. Or whatever. I'm going to put my summon sign down here. Shit, we're in. What's the haps? Wait, which Beatrice? What? How many people are they some? Oh, there's a dark spirit. Yo, nice. Good job. Why'd you even bring me in, bro? Oh, we got one. Hopefully this one's a real one. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. Oh, nice hat, Soul Reaver. Oh, synchronized bows, you love to see it. Are you gonna grab Salia? Nice. This one's for you, JC. Oof. Nice jump. Wow, you're just going. He's going the distance. He's going the speed. We did it. Bye, bud. Thank you. Nice. Oh, and we get a sunlight medal. That's awesome. I forgot about that. We got number two. All right, let's go. Little foot five two one. I am here to help. Come on, little foot. Okay, I'll get this one. You get that one. Yeah, GG's little foot, it is two, I think I only need one more. What the fuck? Get away. This is bullshit, no. Yeah, what up? Oof. Okay, well, fuck you, bro. We got number three. That was actually quicker than I thought. I'm pretty sure after this one. Oh, wow. How many dudes are you bringing in? Yo. 
You're my boy blue. Hey, I am blue. Ghost drop. No Celia, it's a bummer. Oh well. Kidman, let's do this. And he wants us to like go ahead. Oh, and we're right up this bomb. Nice. Wow, it's a big tail attack. I must never see that. That was crazy fast. Well. <laughs> cool. That's <laughs> three. So now hopefully I should be able to... I think I need one more point in faith. So I'm at ten. And then I can just join the Sunlight Bros. Learn Lightning Spear. And I'll come back to do this. Nice. Let's go do that. Yeah, that was way faster than I thought. Honestly, I thought this might take like I don't know, a few hours, but I don't know how long it's been. I was just um, playing Pokemon on the side. Oh man, I'm happy that it's there. So now we want to try to aggro her out one at a time, please, lads. Oh, not doing one at a time. Okay. Ran out of arrows anyway, so whatever. Cool. And there's that little one in the corner. Hey, buddy. Okay, why did I only do one damage to you with that hit? You need to chill out. Okay, you wanna do that? Oh, hit the wall, nice. Did you just taunt me? Okay, let's not die to the boulder knight. Oh, I thought he was about to get me. Get away. I'm sick of you. Gosh. <sighs> Do a safety heal. Make our way. That was embarrassing. Um, I don't really need to fight any of these guys. I'm pretty sure they'll all just let me be. So I'm just gonna be. I love hearing the bell, like hearing the fact that online is still pumping strong, you know, there's still people playing this game all the time. It's good. Alright, oh wait, I need one more point in faith, yeah. Too quick on the menus, press leave and say level up. Alright, level up, faith to 10. Nice. Then we go here and we pray. Praise the sun, baby. And join the sunlight bros. Awesome. So, quick recap of what we did. Staying under level 20, let us do co-op with the gargoyles. Going above level 20 makes it really hard, especially if you've got a plus anything weapon, because the weapon plus and your soul level affects your co-op. So, I stayed uh, below level 20. I think I'm young. I was 16. Just hit 17 for the 10 faith. Could have gone 220, but I don't know. I find being around 15 is reliable, uh, especially with a plus four Uchigatana. But yeah, so did that three times so that the required join faith would go down five for each co op. So it's now only 10 to join this. So I did that. Got the Sunlight Spear, and now we will tune it here. Oh, you need 20 faith? I did not realize. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see how much levels I've got, but I don't know if I want to dump it all on faith, like, I can go to 15, mm, this is probably not smart, but you know what, I want, I want to throw lightning bolts, so I'm going to do that, alright, 
Let's make our way over and do the gargoyles ourselves, and then I'll, I'll wrap it up. I think I'll just grab the items up here that I missed. Usually if you fight the pig and you don't want to do it the way I did, you can just lure him into the earth. He just dies real quick. Silly piggy. I'm real lucky with those arrows missing. Wow. Get the alluring skull. Um, we could go up there and get the night shield. Yeah, maybe I will go this way. There's a soul along the way. and If I need 20 faith, I'll probably need an extra soul. This guy's like, yo, I'm gonna lead you to a trap. I'm like, nah, bro. I'll stab you. I'll roll away. Damn, that, like, flurry attack that they do? Insane. It can, like... I think it's, like, some of the highest DPS a uh, mob can put out. It's crazy. And the, the torch ones, the fire torch guys, they do even more. So this is the key you would need to open up that, um, golden dickhead in the jail cell. But... Master key, OP, it's pretty much like the only item worth taking unless you don't want to do like shortcuts. And then we'll stumble out onto this little thing which I have fallen off honestly an, embarrassing, an embarrassingly high amount of times due to just like I guess overconfidence or arrogance from having doing it before. So I just, I always take it slow now, I don't know. Having a 100% success rate is, is Better than having speed, but falling off most of the time. Alright, so... Kill this fella. To get the night shield. I'm gonna turn around. Oop, that was a bit poor judgment of range. Oh, that was close. Tried to parry me. Now, bro. Oh, dickhead. Um, what I might do is put on my large arrows as well. Drop a shard. Nice. Closer and closer to Gucci Gooch plus five. And can I just? Q. Oh, I missed. Q. I missed again. Um, help! I'm terrible. Kill. Tried to drink the se secret sauce. Not on my watch, bro. Now this guy's giving him a little kick and a little smash. trade a block for a slash with these guys if you don't want to parry or try to do all that kind of stuff. Awesome. Sweet. I think I only need one more, so I might even just buy that from Andre. I'll probably use my souls now that I've done the co-op that I wanted to do. Like the um, right, souls in my inventory. probably go do the gargoyles right now, but um, for the sake of wanting to be OP, because I, I like throwing lightning spears, I'm going to see how much these will net me. What do we got? Uh, what do I need? Alright, you got to wait for in this game. Ugh. bad, it's not good. Um, let me see. Yeah, I've only got two shots, so I'll wait until I get them naturally, or I'll go plus five after gargoyles. For now, I'm gonna see. Two. Yeah, I'll do it. And I'm pretty sure I can actually just. Just the last shot I need, and yep. 
plus five. Nice. So to get any higher, I'll need the ember from the depths, which I'll probably grab that not too long away. I don't know if I'm gonna go through the depths. I don't know if I feel the need to. Part of me is like, yeah, I should. So this is a full playthrough. Kill all bosses. Go the intended order, but. I already kind of said that I don't want to go that way through Blight Town, so we'll have to see. But yeah, let's go up, kill some gargoyles, and we'll call it a day. started Dark Souls, the gargoyles were just, they were my breaking point, like, I think I spent like a week trying to get past it, the fact that the second one came down always gave me such like an adrenaline rush or an anxiety surge, I don't know what you want to call it, but it would, it would mess me up, I would have to like psych myself up for it, and, oh, two items, nice, no swag sword though, um, I'd have to psych myself up for it, and then I'd go in, I'd get the first one down, and just the second one would drop, and I'd like, I'd panic, I'd start rolling. I think I rolled off the roof more than they killed me. Just not paying attention, not really being too familiar with these type of games at the time, and just, I don't know, not breathing. That's the biggest thing, is to stay calm. Like, they're not hard games. I mean, they're hard games, let's not argue that. But only your first time after that you kind of know what you're up to and like, you're, you're gonna die to these kind of guys oh my god okay bye jeez what am i doing i worry i'm gonna try to do the gargoyles and probably get rocked do they follow nah okay um i thought sir what's his face was over there maybe that's only if you go speak to him first nah he's coming up okay well you, you do that we'll get rid of him get to full health I think, um, yeah, the golden boy that we got out of jail, if you go speak to him at Firelink before you do this, he will appear there so you can summon him and Celia. But I just want Celia for the uh, Sunlight Medal, which thanks to doing PvP I already have two of, which is nice. I think throughout the game you can get like five, maybe six with Celia. One of them, it's Gwyn, so it's kind of useless. It's at the end and you have to new game plus. But yeah, here we go. Ah, oh, well, I guess we'll have to walk forward and get them to come down, but that's okay. I'm probably going to go Lightning Sword so that we have ultimate damage. Do, do, do. This is this is pretty epic, though. Like, you're looking at them. Like, those those two on the front obviously look a bit different. The one with a stubby cut tail and this one with, like, an axe and actual, like, I don't know, rendering on his shadows. Oh, nice start. Good. Okay, got the tail axe. Very nice. It's one. I don't know. When I started, these were just terrifying. Now it's like, get a plus five weapon and gold pineryism. Who cares? Bye, guys. Thanks, Celia. <laughs> and we got the helm. I like that helm. I don't think I can equip it without being like medium roll on my current weight limit, but eh, it's nice, it's a good helm. Looks cool. Up this long ladder to this. Uh, you can just put your weapon away, bring it back, and get rid of the um, effect, which is something to be careful of if you do use a, like a resin on your weapon but it's good to get rid of if you finish the fight and you don't want to hear a crackling sword for ages. Let's ring that bell. Boom. First bell of awakening rung. Can I get a, a ring ding dong? A ring a ding 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 dong. Oh. I'll be here to this. Uh, careful not to just tap circle too much because I've seen so many bloodstains of people <laughs> rolling off that hill and just off to their death they go. I can imagine it would be quite demoralizing to come back and have to pick up all your souls. 
Here's um, Oswald Cobblepot. I forget his actual name. He's like Oswald of Kareem or something. But um, he sells stuff. I don't really want or need any of his stuff. Um, the Blood Bite Ring is whatever, but the Poison Bite Ring is pretty useful for if you want to traverse Blight Town, which I probably will. But I'll probably farm a few of the poison moss from the tree people, so that's whatever. Let's get that gesture. Almighty and all important. Human to commit a sin. <laughs> what a laugh. Honestly, that that's dialogue I'll always listen to, just like <laughs> What a psycho. Um I I'm gonna just use a bone, I don't need to run all the way back. But yeah. So that is it for this part. Next time I'll probably I could go do Capra or I'll go do Butterfly. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do yet. I'll um probably just flip a coin and go with what it is. But yeah. Thank you for joining me. I hope you had a good time. I hope you laughed at my failures. I hope you uh maybe got some help from some co-op or learned something new about the co-op, I don't know. Um oh let's see if we can Real quick, nah, we're one short. Okay. Either way, we'll be throwing lightning spears next episode or next part. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining me. Have an awesome day, and uh, yeah, kakite.